this video will be a nice review on how to make converses, inverses, and contrapositives from a given conditional statement. So the statement that we have here is, if I go to Mount Vernon, then I don't go to West Potomac. The first thing you need to do is identify the hypothesis and conclusion. So the hypothesis begins with the word if, and it extends to the word then. So if I go to Mount Vernon, we call that the hypothesis, and we call the conclusion Q, which starts with the word then typically. The hypothesis will always begin with the word if. So what we have here is if P, then Q. If P, then Q. We call this a conditional statement. So now that we have our hypothesis and conclusion ready, we can easily make a converse. So right here, I have the same statement. This time, red is the hypothesis and Q is the conclusion. So I want to write the converse now. The converse is just where we change the order. So it's going to be if Q, then P. So if Q, and P. So remember from our last page, what's in red is our hypothesis. What's in blue is our conclusion. Again, the hypothesis began with the word if. So I'm going to move these words around. So if I don't go to West Potomac, then I go to Mount Vernon. So sorry about that getting cut off. But the idea is we're moving things around. So if we wanted to see if this is a true statement, if I don't go to West Potomac, then I go to Mount Vernon, all I need to do is come up with a counterexample. This is false. A good counterexample would be you may go to Hayfield. So if I don't go to West Potomac, I may go to Mount Vernon, I might may go somewhere else. So this is not a true, the converse is not true. If I don't go to West Potomac, then I go to Mount Vernon. The next statement that we talked about was inverse. So the symbols for inverse were, if not P, then not Q. So if not P, then not Q. So if I move this around, I have if I take I go to Mount Vernon, but I have to make this not. If I don't go to Mount Vernon, do you see how I inserted a not if I don't go to Mount Vernon, then I don't go to West Potomac, but again, I have to insert a not. Right here, I have the word don't. So I want to say don't not go to West Potomac. That's a double negative. Don't not means I do go to West Potomac. So we can just get rid of this. So our final statement for the inverse is, if I don't go to Mount Vernon, then I go to West Potomac. So let me rewrite that just for clarity. If I don't go to Mount Vernon, then I go to West Potomac. So you should remember from your notes before that the converse and the inverse have the same truth value. 
this is false. Again, my counterexample would be Hayfield. So if I don't go to Mount Vernon, well, I may go to Hayfield. I'm not going to West Potomac, therefore it's false. The last type of statement we talked about was a contrapositive. The abbreviation for a contrapositive was, if not Q, then not P. If not Q, then not P. So again, I'm going to slide things around. If, remember the words following the if are my hypothesis, the words following the then are my conclusion. So if I don't go to West Potomac, again, this is not Q. So I have don't, again, it would be don't not, so it just goes away. If I go to West Potomac, then I go to Mount Vernon. But again, I need to insert the not. Then I don't go to Mount Vernon. So rewriting the statement one more time, if I go to West Potomac, then I don't go to Mount Vernon. If I have to take a look at the truth value, I'll see that this is true. If I go to West Potomac, I don't go to any other high school. West Potomac is the school I go to, so I wouldn't go to Mount Vernon. Hopefully this was helpful in our review of conditionals, converses, inverses, contrapositives, and identifying hypothesis and conclusion of a given conditional.